Hello, welcome to Healthy Tuesday on Your View. I am Murayo Afolabi Brown, as always. I have a lovely co here with me. Hi, ladies. How are you guys Hi. doing? Hello. Hi, Jimmy. What's going on? How is everything? Um, everything is fine. We thank God. Um, I noticed something go on social media, how people are fighting themselves over this um, judge's arrest and everything. And some people, that's yes, there's no rule of law in Nigeria. Let them do it anyhow. And I thought to myself, if we want change, as much as yes, you have been violated yourself, we should just always encourage the right thing to be done in the society, regardless of who is concerned. My thought. Oh. I noticed it. Okay. <laughs> well. Hi. How are you doing, Dr. What's up? We would always agree to disagree. Um, and I'm on opposite side of you. I was feeling like sharing your comments yesterday on the Facebook and like saying, I totally disagree with this. I felt, let me let it go. You know, every time you fight on social media, I think the little things that we can do um, to make Nigeria better is what we should focus on doing and then support the government in. Um, by encouraging them when we feel they've done something right and balancing out our views. Mm. Okay. How are you doing? I think, I think this episode has really made, has brought out a lot of arguments. I mean, there's a lot of media trial going on right now on this issue. And um, I, it's ongoing because they've been released on bail. So yeah. um, it's in the papers. We'll talk about Where it. Are you? How are you doing? Well, Very well, thank you. Issues of corruption. <laughs> when it's close to home, uh, it's usually a uh, yes, it's <laughs> different. <laughs> Me and you, I'm telling you. I mean, if tomorrow somebody says this is this is what who has done, she's stolen ten billion. All of a sudden, you begin to see ten billion. Like, did she really? Are you sure that they, oh, they oh, sent it to her? So yes. They sent it to her. She didn't so, steal it. <laughs> we begin to give excuses, but honestly speaking. It's going to be really, really tough because every day you hear of people picking, uh, EFC picking different people up every day. I'm just wondering that. I, I think we should find a way to strike a balance. Mm. Do you understand? I love the fact that because um, the truth is that in the judiciary, a lot of innocent people over the years, you know, they've had, mm. I mean, so... Yeah. It's, it's well, a good thing that we'll it's, it's in the papers. papers. And I can't, I can't have wait to discuss it. How is Cookie doing? No, you said it's Harpo. Okay, how is Harpo doing? H-A-R-P-O. What would you um, give her that kind of... After Oprah's company. How can you give a sweet name? You not change it to Harpo. Uh, you know, like Harpo uh, Bleach. No, Harpo <laughs> means happy, actually. The oh, really? Happy, yeah, you go to the, the biblical name. <laughs> That's what my husband said. I don't know. Really? I'm not sure. I'm very <laughs> anyway, but what she's doing, she's pretty expensive to maintain, I must say. Yes, I went to is. buy all the gold, man. I was wondering why I, you went on that project because everybody is complaining recession and you decided to adopt the hey, dog. Hey, Jehovah. A tush lassa. You finished 400 naira can of food was in one for day. More. My husband said, so wait, 400 naira every day. Times 30 days. How much is that? <laughs> That's my nurse. Uh, medication, medication, then breakfast. And they have to buy this noodle thing for him that you have to say, oh man, it's a lot of work. I don't know how, uh, what's her name? Uh, LABI. LABI is, is managing. Oh, and even Maureen. Maureen has me. three now. Imagine she imported two more. Hmm. You need a anyway, you have the job you have to be before rich. you can <laughs> take care of your dog. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> My husband doesn't understand. Like, what is this? Yeah, I'm not finished with the twins. You're not bringing this one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> extra work. So I'm the one that woke up at 5 a.m. to walk her outside. I mean, because my husband said, it is you that will do it. Not them. <laughs> they have enough work. We have a news mention. Actually, today is World International Day for the Girl Child. That's why we have this pink ribbons on. We got it from some NGO. They had a TQ image, I believe. They sent us these ribbons over the, uh, over the weekend. They had and the lapel up. pins. Yes, and the lapel pins. Mm. And I know uh, Jumoke is very passionate about the Girl Child Project. Yes, so yes, yes. My people even called me yesterday we're doing things for the girl child mm -hmm. um so i'm very very passionate about so that's so that's that, that's what today is about so that's what we're in, in celebration of the protect the girl child we're mm -hmm. wearing those ribbons today all right um it aims at giving rights and access to education uh, educational opportunities for girls on increasing awareness of gender inequality faced by girls worldwide that's what the project is about mm -hmm. yeah all right let's take a break when we come back We'll look at the front pages of the newspapers. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Start with punch. DSS releases judges on bail. NJC meets today. Arrest of judges sad. Regrettable, says CJN. Picture here of an uh, official handover of two Augusta Westland AW101 presidential helicopters to the Nigerian Air Force. Nine persons die in Oshun auto, um, auto accident. Kidnappers of Lagos pupils give families 48-hour ultimatum. 
EFCC arrests Uche Oga outside Lagos courtroom. Mele Maitans are mere extortioners, says Buhari. We got 13 million naira from ransom paid for the for Emifeli, says the soldiers. There's hunger in the land, northern leaders tell Buhari. Domestic debt servicing gulps 641 billion naira in six months. And 22 billion naira arrears. Pensioners issue 14 day ultimatum to oil. All right, so. Many stories that I want to take in point today. You know, event. yesterday um, we were talking about we want to know what the northern elders are going to come out with. Yes, now they've come out with that there is hunger in the land. They didn't address the issue we wanted them to address. Uh, we were oh, listening. bam. Restructuring. Ah, what What's happened to that? <laughs> but, but the truth about it is when there is hunger, you first of all deal with that one. They will now come back and talk about restructuring. But there has always been hunger in the land. Yeah. Maybe more widespread now because Nigeria is a communal country. Maybe ah, Mariah has salary. She takes care of me. Now Mariah has been sacked. So she too, she's no, no, waiting. Mariah's enemy. God enemy. forbid. Uh -huh. God forbid. No, 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 you don't talk like that. You don't talk like that. Maybe we don't talk like that. <laughs> Mariah's enemy was sacked. Mariah will Amen. never be sacked. Amen. Jesus. Amen. They also cited the case of the IDPs. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, okay. We are very spiritual on uh, that count. <laughs> All right. The IDPs are suffering, and you know, predominantly they are the the case of the IDP is centralized in the north. north yeah. So they have a case that whatever is going on, people are hungry. The IDP situation is terrible. True. But the IDP, are, the, the IDPs are budgeted funding yeah. that's supposed to ensure they are not hungry. It's but siphoned. somebody is siphoning it. Yeah. So as much as we did our sting operation on the judges, we need to do sting operation on those that are sitting on the IDP funds. Okay, I just even on. wanted to add that, you know, the North, the north has been known for are churning out truckloads of food items mm -hmm. you understand so if you're saying hunger in the land you also need to look back and say where did we miss it mm. you know where did we stop uh, focusing Farming. on what our strengths are mm. and how do we get, get back to that point and mm. which is what a lot of um, people are doing actually right now in the north Sound so that that, yeah. there, someone was telling me over the weekend that so it's somewhere like zamfara if you see the expanse of land, yes, miles upon miles is upon miles of land. Is it Arab? Yeah, yes. most of the Nigerian land is actually. Most of the lands are hmm. actually Arab. So lands. anyway, let's move on to the nation. Judges, DSS grills bank directors in bribe probe. Uh, banks in credit crisis says report. One hundred fifty-four Nigerians deported from Libya. With these are scarce resources, these one forty four are now coming again to come and enter this country. <laughs> you have just gone. But actually they had to be they were deported and um, the information was leaked at the airport to the media yesterday. What happened? Well, they, 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 just, they just got information that they've returned from Libya. That's pretty much what the article Li Libya saying. itself is in crisis. So exactly. I'm sure they are better I off. think it's a transit... Uh, okay, those try well, to go to you. I didn't did, did read all the article. I just read the first paragraph. Just Usually, they can't mm. run to Libya. I'm sure <laughs> they are Libya trying itself to is in crisis. You know, okay, so. okay let's move on. Very let's true. grow our own nation. Then we're talking about judges. Let's let's move on to Vanguard. Mm. Crackdown on judges, sad and regrettable, says CJN. Mm. NBA insists arrest, detention remain illegal. Mm. AGF body of benches shun valedictory court session. Mm. High court judges shun sitting. NJC holds emergency meeting and other another um, points there. Picture here of the kidnappers, suspected kidnappers of the wife of the central um, bank governor. Sultan calls for arrest, prosecution of killer herdsmen. Mm. Nigeria's economic situation worse than stagflation, says the NESG. Um, and we have militants want to colonize Nigeria economically. Like but let's talk about our Sultan. judges. Okay, okay Sultan, let's talk about Sultan. Um, yeah. um, he was saying that the herdsmen should be treated as terrorists. You know, we, we have assumed that we have not heard from you, these elders, you know, these are your children. Northern so elders. he's saying anybody caught, just treat them as Criminal. terrorists. I want to quickly say that I um, commend the police force, um, the CBN's, uh, the CBN governor's wife, that I mean, that was abducted and all uh, that. You they know said that they we were abusing them initially <laughs> that, ah, because it is CBN governor's wife, mm. she was released in 24 hours. Mm. But obviously the money paid as ransom was, was paid. Yeah, mm. well, yeah, it, um, 30, um, 36 hours, I think that was what the they reported mm. so they they caught them with about 14.7 um, million mm. naira they caught them with some ammunitions and cars and all that the only the thing is yeah the there was a was major involved. um according to the report major manhunt yeah. you know for the the so these kidnappers it was a so, stink operation yes <laughs> so my point is you know now we are seeing that someone that is really really high up there 
your, I mean, the process for recovery and everything is shorter. I think if given the opportunity, our police force can undo crime in this country. They can do and undo. So Anyways, what, what we are saying is that more whatever incentives. it is, maybe the government should start the looking. Of the no, it shouldn't be. So maybe they need more incentives to work okay, better. Moving on very quickly to Daily Sun. Chief Justice blows hot, summons the NJC. It's sad, regrettable, unfortunate, he says. Abuja court grounded. Justice Ademola, three others released. Let us reveal how NJC declared judge before arrest. Police recover 14.7 million and AK-47 AK from kidnappers of the CBN governor's wife. Just talked about that. Again, Buhari and Obasanjo meet. 10 die in Oshun auto crash. Smuggling, federal government may shut down the semi border. Hmm. And uh, DSS crackdown shifts to election tribunal judges. So okay, let's talk, talk about, about the judges, the judges now. Now. Yes. Mm. Um, so they were arraigned yesterday and um, they've been granted bail on um, personal recognition. Exactly. You know, um, three things I wanted to talk about the judges was that my, the, <clears throat> the head of my discussion yesterday was let's make sure that every corrupt official that is arrested, we do it right so that we don't lose our case in courts. For instance, using Dasuki, the ECOWAS court has now granted him 15 million. Someone that you are supposed to be collecting our money from, you, you are now going money. to be, because <laughs> you did it wrongly, detaining him without right. granting him bail. Secondly, the way and manner in which they were arrested, these are our honorable men, for whatever reason, sends a bad signal internationally about how you treat people they're criminals i agree go and arrest them get your um evidence this thing operation that they used to go and arrest them they have not used it to go and save the children that were kidnapped mm. and at uh, school the boy that they said was ill yesterday has become worse mm. they've not used sting operation to go and rescue the, those ones thirdly since Jibrin has been shouting about Dugara, we have not seen any sting operation to go and arrest Dugara. What I'm saying is, but let's see, as you are starting from the top, yeah. I agree. Okay. Every criminal, yeah. well, let us go through. Let but us see that everybody. So, yeah, I hear you. You're very right. I mean, when they people, go to people court, share though. hanging letter away. People share that sentiment. But don't you think that this thing should be done simultaneously? Like, yes, you're trying to. Uh, sort out the Dogara issue. It's being done with due process. However, this one was peculiar because they're judges and they know their rights. Mm. And it was, it's very clear that, listen, it's almost as though people are saying that it's as if Nigerians are confused. What do you want? Do you want us to fight this corruption? Or do you want us to just say, oh, fight let's it the right nice. way. Fight it the right way. Do do not not I years. Let me talk about it. At the end of the day, we're never any case every case goes to these people yes and at every point in time the ruling favors the corrupt people and we, also so still we, complain. And we all complain that this fight against corruption is not working they are throwing out the case from courts they are saying all sorts so if we need to fight it the institution needs to be strengthened i understand the policy needs to be put in place but the policies that will be put in place and the laws are being um, enforced by this man if we don't get them out of the way, we will not fight any corruption. I want to, another country to about to run about okay. the I want to even say to uh, um, Jumoke that when you say that, not Jumoke, made, other, other no, no, people, just Jumoke. <laughs> she said, she said this honourable way. How did you put it? That yeah. honourable people. Yeah, they are very dishonourable. I mean, no, when you say that, uh, see, let me tell you, arrest is arrest. And, and you know that can, terrorists can, have rights abroad. Everybody even has a right. Right. But yeah. So do it that, right. The That's truth all I'm that, saying. You see, I, I wanted to mention something yesterday. Because we are dealing with smart intellectuals here, mm. you have to also find a smarter way. Mm. We are highly know, connected. Them. Yes, yes. Within the ambit of the law. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Look at what Governor Wiki did. Because, you know, he, he has, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, vested uh, interest. No, not even vested interest. We don't interest. know that. We don't know that. No, because he has immunity. You know, if not, if he had, if he, he didn't have immunity, he would have also been arrested for what he did. So we should not, we should not say that there's anything dishonorable. No. So, uh, uh, Mariah, oh, yeah, yes, you said that they've started Dugara's case. Where? No, what I'm, what I'm, no, they haven't. What I'm saying is that That's the wrong. issue, the issue is ongoing with the Jibrin has been suspended, and there's been a, um, a committee that is also working on this case. The, po the point I'm trying to make, however, is that let if we're going to fix Harry this Paso. country. You're going to fix this company. There has to be some drastic measures according to some school of thought. So we also need to understand where those guys are coming from. But I hear you right. The method should be done such that we don't think we're in a detector. But they've done it right because they've granted them bail. Okay, all right. Ah. They've done it right. All right, let's make a let's take a quick <laughs> commercial break. When we return, we heard in the papers, mm -hmm. uh, we read in an article that the Emo State governor of the government deliberately uh, left refuse dump to punish some indigents. Hmm. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned, your view will be right back.
welcome back to your Welcome back. According to the report that we read, Governor Okorocha's chief press secretary affirmed that the government has deliberately abandoned the mountain of smelly refuse along the ever-busy Douglas Road in Oweri, which made headline to get back at the indigents who have been battling the state government over the relocation of the market. He further explained that there is a court order restraining government from tampering with the market. And this also explains why they left the refuse. Now, what are your thoughts on this? It's your view, call us on 070-8066-8014. You can t tweet to us at TVC Connect, please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. Right, so Jumake, what happened? Tell us. The... This press secretary, it was on a radio show. I just said that ah, there's a court order that says we should leave that market, and that's why we've also abandoned refuse there. I don't think anyone would be criticizing them so much but he then also said that uh, the people have been fighting the administration so we left the refuse there to punish them now this came to light on october 1st when a, um, an anglican bishop went on that douglas street and was popping champagne celebrating nigeria and he made the headlines that look at a very busy street heap high of refuse why and then, so they called the press secretary on that radio station, and then he said the things that he said, and it just doesn't represent their government well. You know what? The opposition party, Honorable um, Ezinwa um, Onyebuchi from Oweri constituency in the House, has now gone with his members, their PDP members. They've now started <laughs> clearing, clearing the refuse. <laughs> that if the APC governor we is going to leave clear. refuse, we, we will clear it. <laughs> what? That, those, those are cheap political <clears throat> points. Though. Yeah, we're yeah. playing politics yeah. with the important um, issues, issues that are important to people's lives. Um, because the gov the, there's a court order yeah. on that market that the governor shouldn't go there. So he consciously said he's not going to go there, and so the refuse will remain there. That's even you said that I should not go there, that the court order said that we should not go there because the market was supposed to be demolished, demolished. Yeah. and the market men got a court order saying that the governor should not go there. True. So he now left the refuse there because the court has said he shouldn't go there. It is petty uh, from That's a state, is extremely petty from a state governor. Mm. Or well, the government there, of the and state. And then he's accused of breaking the uh, law. No, right, yo. No, I'm saying. Go <laughs> park. The government, the statement from the law, the, the judge's statement was that he shouldn't go and him. demolish. Not that he shouldn't go there to keep the place. That the, the record Clean and healthy. Uh -uh. Clean Mariah, and healthy. Uh -uh. Mariah. Mariah. So when we want to deal with the issue, and this is emotion that is as that is a heavily. Um, loaded with a lot of negative um, media and you can't devolve that there's a little truth to what they are saying that is not paying salaries the state of the the, 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 the economy is salaries? really bad <laughs> well, nobody, it's not paying state. salaries he's made it compulsory for people to go to farm for people days. say they don't want to farm all sorts of issues that are within this state that you now leave a um, heap of um, refuse and you're bold enough to say that you did it to punish the people it's your people fair. that voted for you not fair Ah, right. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Wait, it's not like you're going to buttress her point. No. <laughs> when you or you saying, want to support the governor uh, of Korocha. Uh, <laughs> I'm saying it. Okay. Okay. trouble. Now, uh, Mariah, it's just like your child, you know, being unruly. Or you're trying to make the child see reasons that this is something you want to do that would benefit that child eventually. Mm. And the child now says, no, this is how I want it. Will you now say because that child has decided to to oppose your your own thought or to oppose your suggestions or whatever you now leave that child so you know hanging so well i think that is the highest care. level of irresponsibility yeah. hold on okay. because you see if he leaves that heap of rubble we are trying to combat lassa yeah. fever mm -hmm. and lassa rats mm -hmm. what do you think is their, habi uh, their habitation is it not uh, uh, dirt and all that we are trying to combat cholera yeah. you, you understand so there are so many things that would trickle down W leaving that heap of rubble there so but it's not just be it goes beyond the people saying because i, I have asked you not to demolish um the the market uh, structure then you now decide to say you are not going to do your job but before, before you are not doing your job because the people agree with you you're doing your job because you're there to do your job but um, what, listen before we crucify the, the government for doing this we don't know the genesis of the story. No we don't know how hang, we don't know how this thing started we don't know how many appeal has been made to appeals have been made to these people to clear even the 
they throw they, they trash. True. We don't even know how much the government has tried to help them. True. It's possible. <coughs> so we don't know the general. No governor who was voted in by the people would intentionally and deliberately no, we, we, we know that. He wants to intentionally, I'm just saying, intentionally want to do that. However, it's possible that maybe people there there, there it's been delayed. For certain reasons, but we can't assume that he no. doesn't care for his people. That's the, one. That, and secondly, where do we t where do we put the responsibility of the people in play? In, in play in, in, I in agree play with here? you. The people also must take responsibility I, of their I, actions. I, if I your agree. government has interest of demolishing an area for your own good, not for its own personal good, you should also be considerate. So let us not crucify the government for taking an do action. Realize realize that that our, two things in defense: um, the people didn't do, illegally block the place; they went to court. Why? The judge in the court case said that. Do not touch the market. Except so you they, said the court, they the went judges through, are they went through the legal means. Now the governor spokesperson came on a radio station within Owiri and said that we did it to punish you. Uh, uh, haba. That for me there is no justification. Okay. Now the PDP representative that goes there to go and pack it is just <laughs> he, he didn't do it out of his own benevolence. He's <laughs> doing his community you know, service. You? Because he is paid, he's not using his own private money. He has constituency project money, True which sure. is probably what he used to do with. So sure. we shouldn't lord him and make it look like he's doing something great. Okay. All right, let me take this call. Samale, are you there? Yeah, good morning. Good morning, sir. Thanks for calling. Yes, yeah, I like your makeup this morning. I the girl child. Thank you. My only child is a girl who is having uh, Sokoto right now, Joy. Oh, yeah. I know the the height I could not attain. She will, she go be, uh, you know, she go above that. Is he English? But the man in a worry. Mm -hmm. Yes. Him and my brother governor in Edo seat <laughs> be the only old men out among the lords in this part of the country. <laughs> Okorocha belongs to APC. You know, in the southeast, he's the only one. The man in Anambra is with the PDP. My brother with Shomole in Edo state is the only person from APC. They are the only people who are, who are trying to play this prank games. How can, for God's sake, you say you are serving the masses, you now leave rubbish. On the road, telling us you are punishing them. Who is at the receiving end? If at the end of the day, an epidemic breaks out. Exactly. Mm. Thank you. What would you do? Who you spend will money? bear the brunt? I think uh, <laughs> Mr. Okorocha, whom I used to respect, used to become a governor before he became a governor. Yes. To me, I, to I, I, I give no damn about him anymore. God bless Nigeria. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But I seriously doubt the governor will do this intentionally. Right. I seriously but the doubt it. Well, but but, but when player. the spokesperson yeah. now comes out to say that you're doing it to punish him. Exactly. Lately, because um, I, I was even at um, Aja on Sunday, and I saw that, um, I think it's at Jakonde, they are demolishing all those illegal market structures in in um, that jack on the area mm -hmm. and i think uh, uh, about last week w w uh, around the Yano what was that yeah, area they told us that they've been demolishing up to 50. but have you seen any listen first of all let me tell you something the reason that the the people in that particular market i'm sure would have opposed the demolition of that structure there was no you know no government alternative government is communication you sit down. You don't just wake up and say you want to do By the time you sit down with the people and say, this is the plan, and they see honesty and gen that you are really genuine in your claims, that this is what we want to move our market structure to look like in the next maybe one or two, three years. Nobody will be stupid to say that, you know. But when you see there are shrouded, um, uh, what's it called, yeah. means underneath that demolition, that they know that by the time they are demolishing the market, they might not be able to get an allocation. That is okay. where there will me, always be me, a trouble. Let, uh, let me take this call from Joel. Joel, are you there? I'm here. Good morning. Thanks for calling, Joel. Please go ahead. Uh, I, I want to thank you for the wonderful programming we are holding on every month. On a special note, Jim O'Kay for his uh, standing out. Uh, thank you so much. Please, I want to continue to the arrest of judges that was done over the Yes, go ahead, please. Uh, yeah, I know the, I support the fight against corruption in this <sighs> country, but uh, I think we should, the, we should maintain the decorum and, uh, and uh, follow the rule of law. Mm -hmm. What happened, uh, the way they broke a, 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 a judge's, judge's house, I, it's not, I, I think it's not funny. So we should follow the due process of uh, fighting corruption so that at the end of the day, we're not losing the court. Thank, so you, that's my Thank you very much. I want, I want, to, 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 you, I want to respond to talk where she said that I had the PDP man. It's because there's a vacuum now. Yes, he gets constituency allowance. Maybe before he used to keep it in his pocket. Now he has seen a way to score a political point. 
Mariah, let us give them the benefits of the doubt because it wasn't the governor who said it. It was his press secretary. Yes. Let's say he was misrepresented. Yes. Now, as you know, when that... Hang in there, hang in there. Bam! One... When the, it, it became public because of that Anglican bishop that went there, mm. and there's this sore sight, hmm. the governor should have scored the political point. Ah. Quickly move it. By going there and saying, ah, no, we don't want epidemic in uh, Oweri at all. Mm. Oh, yeah, even oh if God. it is just uh, photo up, mm. to go and clean up that mm. thing. Is mm. that vacuum that he left? Mariah, that you this is now yeah. Yeah. But, 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 I, but I must say that. The government cannot do everything alone. Now, I always, I tend to blame the government where the, you owe them totally responsible. But the association that took the government to court, that got a stay of judgment and a stay of demolition, also has they been seeing this rubble. That association probably collects money from the market people on a daily basis. They could have gotten a truck to move that thing away because that is their place of business. Okay. So while you wait for the government to do their part, which I hold the government responsible, people need to take responsibility themselves. I am making money from this market. Okay. And it is a known thing that a lot of um, uh, markets marketplaces that are concentration of mm. these people tend to leave the place in yes, shambles yes, and right. dirty. No okay, you stand up and let's, move, let's, move You see, if, if the government had come up, because they went to court, mm. so there were representatives in that court, mm. if the government truly had a genuine reason for demolishing that structure and they had a serious backing, you see, the government, they were not prepared. Okay. If the government were, the, if they were prepared for that let's demolition... Let's not cast judgment uh, on no, the government. No, I am saying, okay. talk, uh, Jumoke, yeah. I mean, in the court of law, there's no emotions, a bit, uh, Murayo. In the court of law, no emotions. If you bring the facts and back up your your claims with the, your mm. facts and figures of course the ruling will, will okay. go towards you so okay. maybe the government they were not even prepared for that demolition that they were going to okay. Tariq's rule says right. goodbye to APC in Imo <laughs> Rochas, the greatest karma of all times Imo light will never forgive you hey, well, that's a sweet. That's that's all. That was his own okay, right. sweet. Well, unfortunately that's all we didn't take. Can take more tweets. let's take just one more or two more Okay, the, um, David uh, Igbo Zurike says, the governor has not done well. It's just, uh, go it, just, to it just goes to show our leaders do not care for the masses. Mm -hmm. Kuti Malik says, our political office holders keep forgetting public service. is about service. They are not doing us any favor. Ade uh, <laughs> Lodun says, I love the concept of the pink headband to sensitize people of the awareness of um, cancer. Girl oh, okay. Girl that is, this is girl child, child though. Child. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, think, uh, I think a lot of people are underestimating the power of social media something might happen in your backyard in Imo state or even in kebi state i will find out about it the whole the fact the whole world will find out about Go it, find your about state. it. So, um but um let's not judge we are not judging i don't want to assume uh, we believe that the governor has be the balanced. best interest of the people at heart and hopefully and he knows what clear to do. this trash do you want to bet i don't want to bet now by tomorrow we'll have cleared the trash <laughs> <laughs> let's take a break we're going to take when we come back we're going to talk about mental disorder we have larry olishola in the building stay with us we'll be right back Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Come back. Why? Oh, okay. You know, when you see successful people, you just like to just <gasps> stay, attach yourself. <laughs> yeah, successful is the best life. You're just attaching. Anyway, let me, let's, let's start. <laughs> Yesterday was World Mental Health Day. Mental disorder is a beha behavioral pattern that causes either suffering or poor ability to function in ordinary life. According to reports, over 60 million Nigerians are suffering from various degrees of mental disorder, <laughs> which is believed to be linked with marital pressure, mm. educational, and present day recession. Joining us on the show is a life coach, our life coach, Larry mm -hmm. Olushala in the bill. Yay! Yay! And a medical practitioner, Dr. Dorothy Jeff Namani. Welcome Yay! to the show. Thank you. First of all, before we even get to Larry, we hear you have four children. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Even if it's even yeah. standard, we need to see that waistline. Oh, we are aspiring God. to be like. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's also not easy. promoting public health. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yeah, so what's this mental disorder? We, we okay. Let me invite our viewers. You can call us on zero seven zero eight zero six six eight zero one four. You can tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your VTVC so we can read your tweets. Larry, mental disorder. They said sixty million Nigerians yes. for real. Yes. That's over what, 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 what exactly is mental disorder? Tell us exactly what it is. What it is exactly. Well, you know. Um, we, we usually don't like to call it disorder okay um, because of the stigma that is you know associated with it um, it's look from from spe the first part of the spectrum to the end part of the spectrum you find that many people have emotional psychological um, and social traumas and go through different issues okay. and different people have different um, psychological and emotional strength to deal with it mm. And so when we talk about emotional, mental health, we're talking about your ability, you know, to, to have mental tenacity, strength, mm -hmm. and emotional stamina to deal with issues. And people have more strength than others. And when you're unable to deal with things, if you don't have enough psychological and mental stress, mm -hmm. then it begins to affect you. All right, so, so Mar okay. well, marriage has been identified her as one of the major reasons for this mental uh, instability i would like to use disorder do you agree and why is that and i'll let you come in also yes why, why all right so marriage? that the lots of critical uh, triggers one is marriage yeah. because you know a lot of emotions are invested in it yeah. and a lot of people um, tie their identity their sense of identity mm. to marriage okay. another uh, issue is money Mm. Oh yeah, marriage yeah. and money. money. Yeah, mm. so you know because um, I wanted to ask because you said something about people don't like to associate this themselves when they hear things about mental instability because they just th think it's, it's exactly. madness. Mm. So can you differentiate between um, when somebody is mentally unstable and when somebody is actually mad? That mm. Yeah, doctor that says you're a medical doctor. <laughs> oh well, um, I'll like you to think about about it like this. You know. Uh, think about your mind you know yeah. your state of mind because when we say uh, mental health you know people think um of that madman what running yes. around the street and probably somebody who cannot um well to think properly yeah. that's it so when you think about your mind so anything that can make you have that imbalance in your mindset you know your process your thought process or how you should behave what is actually called normal you know or standard in mm. society is what who is is um what you will refer to as probably a trigger you mm. know to mental health yeah. like yeah. so so yeah. let me just add to it mm -hmm. you know um we're all expected as human beings to function normally mm. Mm. but you see all of us get weary inside us. <laughs> we get some level of madness inside us okay. and being crazy. Okay. But you see, when something happens and triggers that thing in you, yes. and you lose control and you cannot function normally mm. again, mm -hmm. right? Then you don't enter. Mental. So basic, mm -hmm. so even basic um, lack of ability to control anger. You know, some people, some oh, yeah. they be like, I get angry easily, and when mm -hmm. I get angry, I do I stuff. So, so, so mm -hmm. I'll, I'll tell you, so, so anger leads to rage. Mm. So when you get to that point where it overcomes you, mm -hmm. then you are no longer yourself. Mm -hmm. Something else is taking over, right? And it's a trigger based on your mental or psychological or emotional state. At that point, right, you have tripped. And if it, it, it continues in perpetuity, then there's a major problem. My question is to the doctor. Um, who is the one who is mentally unstable in Uweri right now? With the, with the, with the <laughs> rubble. You know, Uweri. I want to ask something. <laughs> now, um, because of the recession and all that, we're dealing with a lot more stress. Yes. We're dealing with trying to balance a lot of things. And can you, can you, as the doctor, advise us on how to reset mm. so that we get to the point where we don't, um, we're not um, transferring, there's something that transfer aggression. Mm -hmm. my, mommy, my mom does that a lot and I'm like, don't, <laughs> don't bring this. I, I'm not the one that caused your mm -hmm. stress. You know, so how do we um, res reset ourselves to the point where we can just cut off that how we come in people in danger to ourselves. Yeah, let me um you know start by you know reiterating what the theme for this year is, you know, for mental health. So for um two thousand and sixteen World Mental Health Day, the theme is 
psychological and mental health first aid for all. Aha. Mm -hmm. So that the, the essence is for us to educate the society on how you and I can identify somebody who is going through mental crisis or who is about to go into mental disorder or somebody who already has a mental disorder and is about to relapse mm. and be able to offer you know first yeah. aid what you and i can do you don't have to be a professional you don't have to be a psychiatrist yeah. so uh it's just like in the you know about the basic life support mm. which you can offer to someone who has cardiac you know okay, yeah, arrest yeah, yeah, and yeah, all yeah, that yeah, so yeah. that's what um, they're trying to do because people need to know that if i have if i can identify somebody that is going through this crisis yeah. and it's simple yeah. um think <coughs> about the humanitarian crisis we've been having mm -hmm. think about somebody who's lost someone there mm -hmm. you know those are those are traumatic events mm -hmm. so when you're near the person what you should do you know the way to talk to someone like like larry said there's a way you can even talk to someone you will aggravate the whole thing you know mm -hmm. you really bring the person down mm -hmm. maybe you know in our place somebody comes ah somebody died and you're like oh my shoe and it's only boy ah boy. you know stuff like that <laughs> so there's a way to talk so you're actually even telling the person remind mm -hmm. the person that your yeah, only your child God. and the only male God. child you know what i mean so mm -hmm. there's a way to talk to them without even making them, you know, you don't worse. have to respond to their, their guidelines on how to do okay. that. You know, right. and find out what their needs and concerns and then, you know, deal with it. Honestly, with the current economic recession, <laughs> mm -hmm. I think 98% of <laughs> Nigerians... Based on your own calculation. I know. No, that's actually <laughs> I think. 98% <laughs> of Nigerians have mental... One, one mental dysfunction or the other. Or the other. <laughs> even me, yesterday, I went through one kind of mental instability. I was thinking <laughs> <laughs> how I can put the things together. So when we know that, because um, Larry mentioned correctly that marriage and money, mm -hmm. and money right now is a big issue. My, a friend of mine called me and she was telling me how frustrated her brother was and how you know, he's like going crazy. And him thinking that, okay, if I go to church, I will receive um, sukkot. They are worsening the matter in church. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> asking, exactly. The pastors are yeah. asking, you know, yeah. and all that. So mm -hmm. how do we as um, regular humans, normal human beings, because my own, maybe because I've gone through a bit of uh, mind training and all that, I'm able to rise above it. But it is really, really yeah. tough yes. out there. So how do so we now cope? Exactly. How do we people cope? All right. So, so, so let me just take it from the stress mm -hmm. um, and uh, the environment. So it's important for us to understand that 90 to 95 percent of all disease is caused by stress. Yeah. Ah. And 100 percent of stress is caused by a wrong belief <laughs> that is based on your social and um, environmental issues. Mm -hmm. So, but what is stress? You know, stress is how you view your situation and how you interpret mm -hmm. your circumstance. And then how you psychologically react mm -hmm. to the given situation. So if, you know, um, five of us or six of us go through a particular situation, the same situation, we all psychologically react yeah, differently. Mm -hmm. okay. Based on our backgrounds, mm -hmm. based on our mental tenacity, based on our spirituality, based on our emotional intelligence and balance. Our life journey too. Mm -hmm. And our life journey, our mm -hmm. history basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, so the first thing is, is to understand how much strength you have mm -hmm. and how much weakness. Is still in there okay. now what is happening within that given situation and environment and what is it within that 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 system that is affecting you mm. okay. and how is it affecting you so it's for you to be able to you know develop that level of self-awareness to be able to identify that now I'm going into this mood <coughs> Now, this thing is affecting me this way. Mm. What am I thinking about? Because everything still goes back to focus. Yeah. What, what am I thinking focus? about? Mm. What am I allowing myself to, to feel? Yeah. Mm. What am I lingering on? Mm. And then, you know, our bodies are almost 80% water. Mm. And our thoughts and our words, right, are the triggers that vibrate within us. Mm. Because everything is an energy. And if you boil water, it floats. Mm. If you freeze water, it sinks. It sinks. Mm -hmm. And when you think negative thoughts and you allow negative emotions, the frequency or vibration of the water within you becomes heavy and it slows down. Oh, wow. And that's why when you think negative thoughts, you know, at the bottom part of the emotional spectrum, 
is depression, is grief, is the negative things. Mm. And so the key is to think positive thoughts and, mm. and encourage positive emotions of hope, of love, of empowerment, nice. of you know, self-ability. Mm. And when you think those thoughts, it, it vibrates <clears throat> within you at a rapid rate, yeah. and then you float like water, like, mm. like vapor. Mm. So at the heart of you know, the first thing that you need to do is awareness, you need to capture your thoughts. What did I just think? Think about So that I felt this way. Mm. And then you think the positive opposite of it. Okay. Because your subconscious mind that controls all of these things cannot, you know, um, it cannot process negative, negative mm. instructions. So you say to yourself, you know, I am empowered. I feel, Good. you know. Healthy. And so, so you've got to speak the positive, positive. opposite yeah. of what you Fantastic. want. Fantastic. Yeah. And that's what they tell us in church. I am rich. I will, but I will not die. I will no, I will not die. It's not positive. Yeah, yeah, it's positive. Can I be let, me, let me take a quick scenario. break. Mm, let me okay, take okay, a break. Okay. I'll take that scenario okay. and I'll take Tokwe's question. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back. Dr. Dorothy was going to paint a scenario for us. Um, yeah, and, um, just to uh, reiterate what Lana said, because it resonated with me and I, and I think maybe with every other person here. You know, think about it. Most times, uh, somebody, maybe a family member or a colleague or something can do something, you know, out of line. And, you know, you look at the person and the only help you can offer, or what you say to the person, like, get hold of yourself. Mm. We have all, any, we're all guilty of saying that. Mm. You know, instead of taking it, like you said, we all have different ways of, you know, dealing with, dealing with things. It could be that the person is actually taking too much at that moment, mm -hmm. you know, and he's affecting his mental capabilities, affecting his, you know, state of mind. Mm -hmm. You know, if it was something physical, if there was like a road accident or anything, mm -hmm. you know, you quickly deal with it and yeah. tell, oh, you know, know where the problem is from. So I'm just saying that um, okay. we're, not sensitive. To what we're not sensitive enough okay. mm. to, right. to people. Let me take this call emotion. from Ola. Ola, are you there from Bariga? Yes, I'm a first-time caller. Yay! Yay. Um, this is just what I want to say. I just want to say to um, our president that please bring back our corruption. Uh -huh. All right, thanks for calling. <laughs> <laughs> so, I realize that I have two tricky points. Um, I think about money mm. and uh, my children. When my children, I have taught, like, Two, three boys and two that just can start scratching the ass and everything and I realize I overreact, you know, and I, I diagnosed myself into what would I use to avert this. So when my children start acting up, I just tell myself, be happy. So people are looking hard <laughs> for these children, mm. you know, and when I realize that I can't cope with how busy, how destruct, destructive they are, I say, sit down, switch on TV, I go to the room, I lie down. So I give myself like a time out for myself because I need that break. Also with money, I, I tell myself, a lot of people have money and they have major sicknesses they cannot treat. So I think people should count, like you've, you've told us oh, time about, count your blessings. Just juxtapose the opposite of what you're going through. So you don't have money, but you have life. You know, you have mm. something that can okay. push you forward. Mm. One yes. very important question for me is because it was uh, the World Mental Health Day yesterday, um, Larry has highlighted things that we need to notice in ourselves as individuals, but for people around us, especially with so much going on. Um, I mean, not to know that that person, maybe the um, relationship that broke up is affecting them or because they've lost their stuff, job yeah. or they lost a loved one, please itemize the signs to look for in people around us. Yes. Now I can identify my own. I know that I'm depressed. I should tell myself good things. But I'm noticing some things have changed in someone. How do I know that this is a mental health issue and what do I do instantly? Fantastic. You see, you, ju you just said it, that you notice that something has changed okay. with someone. There's really no particular way of, you know, knowing. Except it's about change. people, exactly. And that's why People with mental health issues seek help faster when it's coming from somebody who is close. Okay. Like a family friend yeah. like you, your friends. Mm -hmm. So if you pay attention, you know, just mentioned mm -hmm. that scenario where somebody does something like, 
you know, just get deal with it, it or get yeah. over it. You know, we should stop saying that. We should okay. pay attention, pay knowing attention. that you cannot yeah. see it. It's not physical, you right. know. Yes. So there's really no, you can't really put it to where, but people who are close to you, so if you do it. notice Let anything, narrate, add to and that. Then so, so from my experience, right, you know, what I've found is even you mm. don't check yourself in because mm. you're still in a state of denial. denial. Yes. And, you know, um, Dr. Dorothy has touched on a very key point. What is the norm? Mm. You must be aware about this particular person. What is their norm? Now, some of the things that you look out for is insomnia mm. or, you know, sleep disorder. Do they sleep too much? Are they sleeping too much or are they not sleeping? Mm. Are they eating too much or are they not eating at all, mm. right? Um, you also n need to look at what are their behaviors? Are mm. their behaviors changed? Are they speaking hopelessly? Hey. So what are their words? Because mm. out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. True, so sir. when they begin to speak towards oh, the fact that, that you know what, there's no more hope, hey. you know, and, and, and you're re realizing that they are repeating over and over. these conversations that, you know, maybe I should just die self, ah. you know, maybe there's just no, no more hope. You know, those kinds of things, they don't want to get up from bed they don't want to have a bath, mm. you know. How they look is no more important to them. Mm. Uh, let's go to church. Someone that used to bath up mm. and just crack, just you know, doesn't even want to go. Mm. You know, there's nothing that is interesting them anymore. Mm. How do we help? Someone that, yeah, so the first thing is, you know, um, I often say to people that, you know, you're constantly talking to yourself mm. and people are constantly hearing um, voices because your thoughts are words mm -hmm. so the first Larry, let me pause you first but i mean I'm, I'm keeping you soup on hold you are you still there uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry yeah, for keeping I'm, you please go ahead yeah in fact so I, uh, good morning good good anyway. morning. <laughs> i have run out of this sorry and I not to on this. in fact i lost my wife oh, oh. sorry about that because i never knew she is suffering from this Wow. And none of um, the parents told me that she's uh, having that kind of a thing. Mm. Wow. Well, I'm so sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry about that. So you're saying how do we, how do we help, help them? Yeah, so, so, you know, they are hearing words through their own thoughts. And you've got to remind them of who they are. Mm. And you've got to speak those words. Right. Because faith and belief cometh by hearing. Fantastic. So you have to constantly remind them of who they are. They're you have beautiful. to constantly... They're healthy. Yes. Yes, you have to, first aid, we're talking about first aid though, mm. you know, you, you have to keep telling them positive words, creating the right environment around mm. them, take them to a professional, sharp, ah, sharp. Let me, let me, I, I experienced that, what you're saying, because I, I said on this show before, that was the time I was suicidal, as mm. a younger, when I was working class, early working class, and I just walked out of the house, I was just walking away, mm. I would, aimlessly, endlessly, I didn't care. But I can't remember what my mother told me that Mara, she was a you're a light. Mm -hmm. Wherever you go, you shine. I, I remember that she said you're a girl of purpose. I remember that, and that drew me back. Like that you know is. what? There's still something for me to do because yeah. I felt like I was done. Yeah. I, was, I, I was secluded. I kept to myself a lot. I would lock myself in the room yeah. days. I don't care because I was. I didn't, I didn't have a job. I had lost my job at the time. I was very depressed. So I was really. I was pretty at uh, that stage where you were. But yeah. those words. Reminded me that very you know powerful. what there was still hope. And yeah. that's why, and sorry, sorry, one minute. And that's why it's very important as parents that we should not focus on the weaknesses of our children. Mm. We must constantly Remind our work is to help them develop their self worth mm. okay. and their self esteem. Mm. Because look, at the heart of mental and emotional disorders are the issues of lack of self worth, mm. lack of self confidence, mm. lack of self belief. Mm. But like, like, <clears throat> like she said, look. When you are in that state where you are almost, you know, um, point. Mm -hmm. at the lowest point, you will remember those words. Mm -hmm. It's and like those you, words you that will call you, it's call it's you it's back. It's a spectrum. You know, we, I said from telling her there's really no way. I mean, these are for people who are beginning to get into that um, situation. Yeah. Then there goes what... Um, Larry just mentioned about people who are already not sleeping and eating. Mm. Then before you even go to the, you, working out. Mm. Mm. So recovery at each stage you know, depends on how fast we're able to identify it. And the recovery also uh, occurs, the faster you see it, 
the faster they, they recover. Yeah. Like we're, 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 going, we're going to be, be rounding up very soon. I know there's an event we're going to have to work on how we can even participate in this. But let me talk, take this last uh, comment. Stan says a bottle of whiskey could be could come in and be at this recession. <laughs> Enjoy yourself and be happy. If you break down, life goes on. Um, <laughs> you know, sir, Aisha says, I think one of the problems in Nigeria is that we lack marriage counselors in the part of marriage mental disorder. I just wanted you so to respond to Let me talk about whiskey. whiskey. Now, you know, you know, <laughs> move, it doesn't solve the problem. <laughs> problem. So you now become dependent on alcohol. You now become an alcoholic, mm. which will compound you your You create your another issues. problem. Which yes. is another, you know, yeah, yeah. another which, trigger yeah. for yeah. mental disorder. You know, <laughs> alcohol is a major trigger <laughs> yeah. for, me, for mental disorder. Drug right. and alcohol. Look, so we have to round up now. I mean, I know that uh, you're going to be helping us, teaching us more about mental disorder. There's an yeah. event coming up, something yes. like that. Yes. So, so oh. there's a program that is, that is coming up. And it, look... It is important for us as Nigerians not to stigmatize this matter. Yes. Mm. And so the key is for us to create awareness okay. about what the issues are. Okay, we'll tweet information about yeah. the event because I wanted people to understand that there's an event coming up, which we can't give you that kind of publicity, oh, but yeah. the yeah. idea is to inform people that you need to learn about mental disorder, yeah. mm. especially because loved ones and family members may be passing through this and they need this and help. And we trivialize and it you, in this And we country. trivialize it and we just take yeah. it to a pastor or a council. Mm. You need right techniques and tools to know how to deal with these issues. Yes. And because of the recession, people are losing jobs, people are having accidents, people are hanging themselves and suicidal. There are lots of these things out there. Weak. So we yeah. want to help our viewers get the tools to help each other and herself. So, so um, Larry is organizing some events, which would um, tweet you about it and text to, our, to those following us on, on, on the uh, social media. I had a great time. Did you guys have a great yes, time? Yes, we did. Thanks. Always Thank nice you. to Thanks, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Dorothy. Thank you. That's all we can take on the show today. Thanks for joining us. The best cure for breast cancer is early detection. Hmm. Get tested today. Have your wife been tested? Recently? Oh, yes. Many and have times. you been tested? I have been tested. <laughs> Great. Have you Ladies? Guys been? Last year, I got tested. I got last tested. Year. Yeah. Last year. Just That's all you can take on the show. See you. See you. <laughs> <laughs> Self test. Self test. <laughs>